I don't know. I don't know. Hi everyone, what's up? I hope your day is going swimmingly. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to learn some alternatives to I don't know in English. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button so you will be notified with my new uploads. Stay tuned, stick around until the end of this video and enjoy learning! Well, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about some ways to say I don't know in English and this expression is actually basic and you have known this one as you start learning English. These are one of the basic English expressions you should know as you study English. And now it's your chance to upgrade, level up, and dig into some alternatives to I don't know in English. The first expression is don't know. Don't know. Yes. It's a short way to say I don't know and it's common in an informal setting. Teenagers or young people usually use this, you know, in casual conversation because it's easier to say, right? Instead of saying I don't know, you can say the no. The no. Let's say, oh, did you see my phone? Where is my phone? The no. That or what time does that grocery store open? Don't know. So, that expression is used in informal setting. Don't know. idea so I have no idea is used when you don't have information about something and you cannot give an answer to that person when someone asks you you don't have information to give to that person so I have no idea for example um, do you know when that museum was built I have no idea you can say that or um, do you know the, the owner of that building? I have no idea. So, that is an alternative to I don't know. have a clue so this is the same meaning with I have no idea so you don't have a clue you don't have an information to say or you know to give an answer to that question you have no idea this is common in exams so your friend asks you what is the answer to number five I don't have a clue so I don't have an answer to your question I don't have a clue What? Why did he do that? Beat me. You know, it's so annoying. It beats me. Or you can simply say beats me. Um, this is used when you don't understand something, which leads you to not know that thing. So you don't know, you don't understand something. Beats me. Let's say your friend asks you, did you understand what he said? Beats me. I don't know. Or, um, why did he do that? Beats me. I don't know. I don't understand. So, beats me is a good alternative to I don't know. Alright. So, since we are talking about the future, um, what do you think will happen in the future? Mm, 
that's, that's a nice question. <laughs> but, but who knows? Who knows? Mm, I I think no no one knows what will happen in the future. So, so who knows? Who knows? Oh, I see. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? It's another alternative to I don't know and who knows means um, no one knows about it for example someone asks you a question you don't know and no one knows about that question no one knows the answer to that question so you say who knows let's say how much is our salary who knows no one knows you know who knows another one let's say um, do you know what will happen in the future? Who knows? So, who knows is also a good alternative to I don't know. Hmm. Jay, where's my new book? How should I know? I don't even read books. How should I know? That is also a good alternative to I don't know. And it means you don't know anything about that thing. And someone keeps on asking you about that thing. And you feel annoyed at some point, you know, because you don't know the answer to that question. Let's say um, you're not a football fan. And uh, your brother um, asks you again and again, what time is the football match? What time is the football match? What time is the football match? Oh my gosh. How should I know? Can you use that? How should I know? It means I don't know. Well, there you have it. You know, don't get stuck on using the same basic English expressions again and again. Try using alternatives, dig into some more English phrases and expressions. You know, it will really help you improve your English. I hope this video is helpful for you. So please hit thumbs up, share this video with your friends who want to learn English and please subscribe to my channel so you can learn when and how to use your English. Let's catch up soon!